Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're going to be doing a haul. I haven't done one of these in like, I don't know, two or three years, it's been a minute. But I realized that my closet, I was going through it, it's like two or three years outdated. I've really been shopping that much, especially with the pandemic. But the fashion trends on Instagram really caught my attention and really wanted me to upgrade my wardrobe. So I have been buying stuff here and there and I wanna show you guys what I bought. I guess in the last month and a half or so. But as you can see on the screen, I got some shoes right here. I got a pile of clothes here too. And it's a pretty good amount also. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Me in 2013 would hate myself right now, but because the fashion trend right now is cargo pants, I've been seeing a lot of it on Instagram. It really caught my attention. I'm really liking them now all of a sudden. And I ended up buying a pair. So I got a pair of black cargo pants right here that I got from Minimal. Back then, I really used to despise cargo pants. I used to think that they were like the ugliest thing in the world. Like I used to wear cargo shorts, but I would never wear cargo pants. Now the general trend is baggy pants. And these right here aren't really that baggy. I mean, they're more like relaxed fitted, if that makes sense. And honestly, the look that I was going for would be a little bit more baggier and a little bit more wider than these pants. And the thing is, Uniform Studios just restocked on their black cargo pants this morning and I ended up buying a pair of those. Unfortunately, I already did wear these and take the tags off so I can't return it, which means that these pants are kind of obsolete. So I'll probably just resell these. All right, next up, we got this black tee from the brand Sworn To Us. This has a loose oversized fit. So I got this in a size large or normally I would get a size extra large. It does fit me pretty well, but I feel like if I got an extra large, my true size size it would fit the look that I was going for even better I mean this does have a loose fit still it still looks a little oversized but I think it would have looked a lot better on my shoulders on this area right here if it was just a little bit bigger because the seam right here at the sleeve it kind of hits perfectly on the corner of my shoulders so it kind of like gives me wings like the sleeves give me wings you know what I mean but if it was like an extra large maybe the seam would have been a little bit lower and it would fall a little bit more flatter rather than more wider but still a really dope shirt I'm actually really excited to wear this next up we have a long sleeve tee from sworn to us once again this is like in the green tee green colorway but this color is so nice like i wish i had a lot more stuff in this color the graphics on this it just contrasts super well with the overall colorway of the t-shirt i got this in a size extra large gives that little nice baggy fit to it plus this is a lighter shirt so it is going to be really good for the spring and summer days. Now we're gonna switch it up a little bit and we're gonna move on to these shoes right here. As you can see, these are obviously some Yeezys. These right here are the Yeezy Quantums in the C teal, C teal colorway. I think a lot of people slept on this shoe. I mean, in my opinion, I think this is one of the best colorways of the Yeezy Quantum line. It's a shoe you can wear with light or dark outfits. And I just realized there's a lot of green happening on this. And I think subconsciously, I think I'm really feeling green. All right, next up, we got these gray basketball shorts from Sworn To Us. On the left side, it has Sworn To Us there with the, or with a graphic of a bird. It looks really dope, contrasts very well with the overall colorway of the shorts. Now the thing about these shorts, um, I don't think these were worth it at all. I mean, these were pretty expensive. These were like 50 bucks. And maybe I just wasn't looking at the picture hard enough, but when I got these in hand, these really just feel like or they even just look like my high school gym shorts. I mean, the color is really nice, really good for the summer, lightweight, it's breathable, but 50 bucks for this, I probably should have returned it when I had the chance. All right, next up, we got some shorts from Minimal once again. We only got three more items left, by the way. These were like the essential walking shorts or something like that um, in the brown, brown? tan colorway these do sit above the knee so they will keep me cool and the color of it is very neutral it's in between dark and light so i can wear light colors as well as dark colors with this so this is going to be a very versatile pair of shorts i do have the black pair of this and i was really satisfied with that which is the reason why i copped this one also i realized you know how i was saying that my closet was like super outdated and i was looking through it and i saw all the shorts that i got and those were kind of eh now Gotta resell those too. Now the shorts that I wanted to keep were like all vintage black or just black or honestly just black in general. So I had to get a shorts that was either lighter or somewhere in the middle, which is why I wanted to get these. All right, next up, we got this crew neck right here. This is super nice. This is the vintage wash crew neck in the green colorway. Got this from Minimal as well. Got this in a size extra large to give me that oversized look. But this crew neck is super nice. It has like a kind of cropped fit. Now the opening of it, 
it's not tight it's more like loose and drapey so everything just flows really well especially with the trend nowadays of bagginess now it is a crew neck but it isn't super super thick it's like terry cotton or something so it will be a good piece for spring as well as like summer nights and since it is a little bit looser than your average crew neck it will also give you cool as well now last but not least i got another pair of shoes right here let me just fix this but i got the nike dunk highs in the pure platinum colorway oh my god these are so nice definitely my favorite piece of all this stuff that i showed you guys now the reason why i bought these shoes is because i really wanted the neutral gray aj1s but you know they're freaking 400 plus dollars resale so i wasn't really down to spend that much money for a pair of shoes so i had to look for an alternative and i found these and i think these are a pretty good substitution for the neutral grays i saw another pair of dunk highs they were called like the vast grays they had a lot more hits of gray on more panels of the shoe and i think the gray was a little bit darker too than this gray but when i was comparing the two i realized that this shoe uh the pure platinums look a lot more similar to the neutral grays which is the reason why I copped it. Plus, these are only going for, I think it was like resale 180 bucks when I got them. I think that these shoes are probably going to be the cornerstone of the majority of the fits that we'll be wearing in the future. Or I mean like in the upcoming, like how many months of this trend. Mainly because it's just a nice pair of white shoes that you can wear anytime and pretty much anywhere. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys liked everything that I showed you guys. Again, I am trying to revamp my closet, so I probably will upload a lot more haul videos in the future. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, hit that sub button too, I'd really appreciate it. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out, peace.